morning. Good morning. Sorry I'm late, y'all. Good morning. Sorry I'm late. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is blurry. There we go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Life Scope. I am your host for today, the Morning Life Scope with True Heart Speaks. Good morning. Good morning, Jay. I heard your event was like super califresti, super califresti, like the it's bialidocious. That's my word. I hope it was, I heard it was like super awesome. Super duper awesome. Congrats. Congrats. Good morning, everybody. Um, as you all can see, I'm feeling a little bit better. I had my neti pot, so my nose is clear, but I still got to blow my nose, y'all. Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Life Scope with True Heart Speaks, everybody. I'm Deetra True Heart, your life purpose generator, your purpose provoker, your I Speak Life mentor. I am all about helping you get out of your own way and get to the business of living. I work specifically with successful yet busy and overwhelmed women um, who work well but don't live well. And that could include men as well, you know. Um, you do work well, but you don't live well. You don't do life well, right? And so we want to teach you how to have balance, whatever that means for you, because some people think it doesn't exist. But whatever that means for you, we want you to have it. And so um, I'm going to literally I'm going to be jumping right in in a minute. So let's give hearts of morning, uh, morning hearts of worship. Good morning, Nadra. Good morning, Antoinette. Good morning, Faithful Believer. Um, good morning, Jasmine. Good morning. I'm trying to think who else I saw pop up. Um, I can't remember. I always apologize. This is allergy season, so I apologize, but I don't apologize. I'm sorry, but not sorry for blowing my nose. If my nose starts running, um, I feel tons of, of Johanna, Tashika, Nakia. There you are. Yes. Good morning, Gwen. This is so not video etiquette, but guess what? This is my show. So I can do what I want on my show, y'all. Good morning. God is so worthy this morning. I just woke up and uh, I feel good morning, Kayla. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Morning Life Scope. We are talking all about preparation this month. We are on day two. And so my first question is, is did you good morning, my sis, Leah? Um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So well, let me just say this. As you guys are giving morning hearts, um, Stop laughing at me, Tashika. Those of you who are watching the replay, you can double tap the screen and you can give hearts as well. Hearts count. Let me just let you all know we're about 10,000 from 800,000 hearts. Again, I'm going to remind you when we get to a million hearts, we are definitely having an all out pair party, right? Another pair party. So get ready. Um, super excited. Um, about you know just what God is doing I'm super excited about Saturday it launches my I speak life tour super excited There's so many lessons that I could teach you all and I might even like sometime this week talk a little bit about some of the stuff that I'm learning about event planning tour planning some do's, some don'ts um, so don't do ever again um, and yes we're closer to that we're closer to yes to 800,000 yeah we're almost at 800,000 um, and so at any rate, so if you were in the Atlanta area, let me just make that announcement. Join me Saturday, June 11th. Um, it's going to be at the Artmore Hotel. And I'm drinking, actually, there's nothing in here but water, honey, and lemon. I'm not drinking any tea today, but I'm really just trying to be mindful of my voice for Saturday. Um because I have to teach and so at any rate um, it's going to be at the Hartmore Hotel there will be no tickets sold at the door so you need to go to ispeaklifelive.com ispeaklifelive.com to join me um, I, I want people there so I'm telling y'all I'm going to be um, putting out some pop-up specials so I'm just going to put it out there if you want to go not coming to Cali right now that's not on the tour but I've had some people who have asked if I'm coming to Cali maybe that'll be in the spring tour I'm not sure um, right now I'm going where my people are and so so I need to know that there are enough people in California who will come and see me. Um, but you can always just invite me to come and um, get the space and send me an invite and I can come speak. I am open to speak, not just for my own event. So if you have something that you're 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 sponsoring um, and you need a speaker, a keynote speaker, um, you know, go on my website. And um, I believe there is a, a thing where it says, let's work together and um uh, and it's speaking and so there's speaking information on there. I just kind of went blank for a minute. So I had you guys do an assignment um, 
yesterday as we, as we are transitioning. Um, good morning, Lipstick Chatter. There's my sis. I did, didn't see you jump on. So we talked about preparation yesterday. We started this conversation out with preparation. And um, let me pull up this question. Um, I came out of Joshua 3 and 5. Consecrate yourselves for tomorrow the Lord shall do amazing things among you. And the, and the, the, uh, the basis of that was I asked you a question. What do you need to cut away from your life? Um, in order to, to be who God has called you to be. Let me find that image that I shared. Um, here it is. So what do you need to cut off at? What do I need to cut off as part of my preparation for where God has taken me? Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Aisha. Um, so those of you who know, I do double duty on Periscope and on Facebook Live in my I Speak Life Society group. Yes, keep those hearts coming. Um, you all know we, we all of us good morning everybody good, um tammy good morning pastor jay i can't wait to hear i gotta call you i want to find out about how hawaii was i know it was awesome um and you're going to are you going to philly this week hey sissy poo i didn't see you pop in there so um so again welcome to all of my followers today welcome to all of you who are joining i just hit eight hundred thousand hearts Woo! <laughs> God is in, and right and we're on the song intentional all things are working together for our good not my good our good listen <laughs> we have 800,000 hearts y'all let's get this party started okay y'all know I'm turned up right so and I shouldn't be at 728 in the morning um Philly was last weekend okay so I gotta call you and just get all of the juiciness because I know it was super awesome all right, so yes, so we're talking about preparation. Those of you who are joining me, good morning for the morning life scope. I am your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak like mentor, Dietra Trueheart. You can find me at trueheartspeaks.com and you can find me all things Dietra Trueheart at the hello from Turks and, Turks and Caicos um, and Dietra Trueheart. So Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Trueheart Speaks, and that Periscope is Trueheart Speaks. And then like my YouTube, my SoundCloud, um, Pinterest, LinkedIn, I think those are Dietra Trueheart heart but we're talking about pre uh, preparation and as I talk to you guys and here's the thing remember what we talked yesterday about um, if you haven't already I know some of you already have invite followers um, I told you that when God um, starts doing things and when he gives me things that there's always confirmation good morning dr. T um, all of my I speak life society family and true heart speaks family is in the his house so um, let's talk a little bit about preparation. And I told you when God starts giving me stuff as far as preparation goes, there's always a confirmation. So um, I had a couple things of confirmation. But the first was um, one of my good sister friends, Dr. Celeste Owens um, of the Surrender Fast, whom I want to let you guys know in September, we are partnering with the Surrender Fast. We're going to be doing the 40 day Surrender Fast in September. I'll tell you all about that when it comes about. Um, but the I Speak Life Society and True Heart Speaks community are going to be partnering with them. But she does the Surrender Fast. But yesterday, she talked about how to prepare yourself for opportunities. She talked all about preparation. She talked all about being ready. And I was like, shut your mouth. Hey, Jessica, shut your mouth. Right. And so, um, so many different things that are, have been coming out. And so we goodbye. See you later. So, um, one of the things that I want to ask you when we talked about this yesterday is what do I ask yourself? And I want to know how many of you asked yourself this question and you um, answered it. What do I need to cut off as part of my preparation for where God has taken me? Good morning, Marquisa. What do I need to cut off as part of my preparation for where God has taken me? The other question I had was what do I need to stop doing in order to be prepared and ready for that opportunity? So one thing is that I ask you to do is, is what do you have to what do you need to cut off? Right. What do you need to cut away from? The other thing is, what do you need to stop doing? Some things, the things that you need to cut away from might not be actual things that you're doing, but things that influence you. But the things that you need to stop doing are things that are um, they are uh, stopping, making you stuck, um, keeping you stalled. Right. Um, they are pausing and um, I knew the answers as soon as you asked. Yeah, so some of us automatically know what we need to stop doing. We know automatically what we need to um, cut off as part of our preparation, right? So we talked a little bit about that. So I've already started teaching. Let me just put my little 10 minutes on here because I've already started. Um, you all know I got to do my timer. Um, there we go. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is, um, is the definition of preparation. I did some... Uh, some researching on the internet and so the other thing that I, I mentioned yesterday and so if you again if you're watching the replay you can still give double hearts um, and tap the screen 
Um, yes, preparation, love preparation. And so um, one of the things that I mentioned yesterday is some people want elevation without preparation. Others want transformation without preparation and they want the promise without the process. And so today we're going to talk a little bit more about um, what preparation means, right? And how it relates to, it says, oh yes, this is good. Wow. <laughs> I told you it's going to be juicy. So, um, so positioning yourself. So let me focus here because y'all comments are distracting me. Um, and y'all know I have the attention span of a gnat. And so I, everything that's going on down there, I have to stay focused on. So my question to you and not my question, but my statement, and I'm going to talk a little bit about what I found here. And then I'm going to jump, jump into, um, what this is all about. So when we talk about preparation, we all know that there are some things that God has called us to. We know that there are some things that we desire to do. Um, you know, I mentioned yesterday, you know, you want to get married. You want to do better in your marriage. Maybe you want to be um, a parent. Maybe you want to buy a house. Maybe you want to buy a vacation home. Maybe you want to go on a vacation. Maybe you want to just save $1,000. Maybe you want to save $5,000. Maybe you want to save $10,000. I don't know. Maybe you want to get in shape. Maybe you want to start walking more. Maybe you want to whatever it is that you, whatever the goal is aside from the idea that um, God has purpose for you and that God has I'm not paying them people no attention um, sis because um, they need Jesus and so they can stay on here and get Jesus so and they need to be preparing for some stuff so um, the idea is that there is something that we are always preparing for I don't care what level you are on I don't care um, how high you think you have gone and how low you are there's always another level supernatural acceleration there's always another level that we can go to and so there has to be preparation for that level right and so here we have is preparation is the action or process of making ready or being made ready for use or consideration the action or process there's that word process again of making ready or being made ready for use or consideration and so let me just tell you that um, you all are being made ready for something yes the process of being made ready you are being made ready for something the other thing is is or the process of making ready and so some of you have to um, hold on y'all Give me a second. I had to just do some stuff because, you know, we just, I, um, listen, it might be rude, but you're getting ready to go too if you keep talking. Um, thank you, Pastor Jay. Listen, this is my show. So you keep talking, you'll get blocked too. Um, it's just as simple as that. Um, so the idea is we, you know, God is not a, is God not a God of confusion. And so if you can't be quiet and you can't pay attention, this is my classroom. So, um, you know, all that extra stuff that everybody is talking about, we're not doing that. So um, at any rate, so when we talk about preparation and we talk about the idea and the process of making ready and being made ready, um, you are being made ready for something. And it says being made ready for use or consideration. That word consideration stuck out to me because in my mind, it means that you are being considered for something. It means that you are being considered for something, which means that God and I told we talked about this yesterday. God already has something planned for you. He's just getting you ready for it. So I want you to understand the idea of preparation and the idea of the word um, prepare. Where did I uh, write that word down? Let me just see if I can find it um, and I can't find it. But let me just tell you in the, the initial meaning of pre prepare is to make ready before can y'all get excited about that to make ready before let me say that again the foundation of the word prepare and preparation means to make ready before you are being made ready before that thing is coming so you are it's already now we already know that God is there hey Marsha I didn't see you pop in love we already know that God has created he know he has you know knows he knows the end from the beginning he created the world 
already and now he's coming back and everything is manifesting right so the idea of the made ready before is is that the thing you're may be made ready before you go into it the problem is is that if prepare means made ready before um, how many of you are getting yourself ready before how many of you because you are to be made made ready before means that you're making yourself ready. You are preparing yourself. You are getting yourself ready. So if by some chance, and, let, and this is the easiest thing that I can use. I know that there are some husbands and some wives here, but there's some single people. You want to be a wife. You want to be a husband. Are you making ready before you get married? Right? Are you making ready before you become a wife? Are you making ready before you become a husband? In order, and some of us don't do that. Some of us, listen, some of us, we, we don't understand that we have the power to make ready before. We have the power to get ourselves ready. We have the power to get quiet, um, to make space for. That's good, Lady T. We have to make space for, the power to make ready before. We have the power to do that. And so understanding that we have the power to do that, understanding that, um, that there are some things that we have to do in order to get ready for the thing that we desire. In order for you to buy a house, you need to stop spending so much. You have to start saving. You have to get your um, your credit ready. You got to pay your bills on time. You have to, um, you know, cut some things out. I miss what you said, Dr. T. Repeat that. Um, there's You have to make ready before. And some of us are trying to make ready during and make ready afterwards. You done missed it already. Right? Many of us got married be and before we had made ready. So we was making whoopee. I'm getting all in the business, right? So we have to get, we have to make ready before. Make ready before, not make ready during. Not make ready afterwards. And a lot of us are trying to do that. A lot of us, these opportunities come up and we're like, oh, shoot, I got to get this together. I, oh, my God, this is not this. This is, oh, my God, this is, I can't, oh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ah. And now we're stressed out because we didn't make ready before. My thing for you is, is no matter what, get quiet, you know, and we started our, we started our life scopes out with getting quiet. In order to receive more, you must get rid of that which. Uh, would cut off the new blessings absolutely and you can't but new put new wine in old skins so there's some things for one we got to get rid of right and so part of that comes through getting quiet you know I'm all about getting quiet you know that that's how we just had this conversation with someone facing a delay in their business launch listen now I listen confirmation a lot of times and sometimes we don't know what we don't know and so I think the other part is 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 that you know some things you just learn like there's some things I just didn't know about a launch I did not know about putting this thing together and I had a conversation with somebody yesterday she called to check in on me and she was like hey I see what you're doing you got some good stuff going on what's going on she was like if you could you know um, you know share some tidbits or whatever yes fasting and I can't I think we're gonna start fasting um, y'all um, once a week Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. That's right. And so um, we have, because some of this stuff is some things don't come, don't come otherwise by prayer and fasting. And so I don't care what your make ready before is the prayer and fasting, the getting quiet, um, to the sacrifice, right? Um, really positioning yourself and being, and sometimes you don't know what you're preparing yourself for. Like you don't know what you're getting ready for. So like the children of Israel knew that they were going into, um, good morning, Cena. They knew that they were going into the land um, and they knew that they were. But but when Abraham, when God talked to Abram before he gave him the name Abraham. Um, no, he, well, wait, I can't remember. Um, my mind is going crazy, but because I'm not going to get focused on names. Is, he was a Ab Abraham or Ab Pastor Jay. Was he Abram first and then he became Abraham or Abram first and then he became Abraham? Which one was it? But anyway, purpose provokers must become one. Yes, we do. Abraham. OK, Abram. Okay, thank you, y'all. My Abram first, and then he became Abraham. I just literally my brain went go, went somewhere. So, and that's not even the point. But the point of the conversation is, um, 
Genesis 12 when God talks to Abraham and he basically tells him that um, he has to leave his family and his country and his kindred right and take his his intimate family and go to a place that I will show you and so part of his preparation was the idea of when God asked him to sacrifice Isaac when God told him that he was gonna have a child and he had the faith to believe it and so the idea for us some of us we don't necessarily know what God is preparing us for we don't really know what where we're going but we we understand that there are some steps that if we get quiet and we hear from God God will um, God will put us in a place where stuff will start opening up. He has a way of doing that. And so he may not give us all the pieces, but he'll give us glimpses of certain things. And in giving us glimpses of certain things, we'll, we can start preparing ourselves or make ready before. So that when the opportunity comes, we're not like, dang. I mean, there are some things that like have come and we're not ready for it. We're not ready for it. Like, um, and here's and here's something I was talking. I told somebody. I don't know who I was talking to. Oh, I was doing a coaching call, and I gave specific instructions to my client. And I said, "Listen, I said what I want you to do is just start putting money aside for professional and personal development, because here's the thing: many of us want want to do training, we want to get coaching, we want to go to conferences, we want to do certain things, but we don't have the money for it." And so we make money for all of these other things. But when the opportunity comes, we're like, oh, my God, I really want to work with you. But I don't have the money because you didn't prepare. You didn't make ready before. I didn't make ready. We didn't make ready before. We have to start making ready. And listen, let me tell you, I was there. Nobody tells you these kinds of things. Nobody tells you that you need to have money aside, not just for the business, but for the building and the growing and the expansion of the business. And so the idea is, is that, you know, yes, it's great for you to be able to put money aside. Like if you're working, what they call your job is your investor. So if you are working, make sure you're taking some of that money, take a portion of that money. I don't care if it's 10 percent, 20 percent, whatever the case may be, aside from your ties, aside from your savings. Take that money off the top and put it in another account. I don't care if you got to take it out the bank and put it under your bit under your mattress. But, you know, it's one thing to invest in your business as it relates to the tools and all of the things that you need. But there's another thing that you need as it relates to when you recognize that you get out there and you're like, hell, I don't I don't really know. I know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. And that person I know can help me. But now I don't have the resources because I don't put money into stuff that is like the tangible stuff. But when you talk about coaching, when you talk about personal development, when you talk about the, like the books that we've been reading over these last six months, we talk about all of the yes, investing in ourselves. Those are the types of things that are helping you to make ready before. Those are the things that are helping you to make ready before. And so you have to be intentional about your personal event. You are your best investment, right? You will get a return on your investment if you make the right investments in yourself, if you use what you are getting, right? It's not, okay, so you don't want to get information and not use it. It's one thing that, like, for example, if I asked you that question yesterday and you didn't answer it, you're taking the information and you're not doing anything with it. There's no sense in me coaching you if you're not going to do the work. And so if I'm giving you something to do and I'm asking you this question, I'm asking you, what do I need to cut off as part of my preparation for where God is taking me? And, and I ask you, what do I need to do in order to stop doing in order to be prepared and ready for that opportunity? Answer the questions. That's part of your make ready before. So I'm going to pause here. We'll pick up with this tomorrow. Um, you are your yes, you are your best investment. I know, you know, they say the house is an investment and the stocks and the bonds and all of that other kind of stuff. It's great. Um, 60, 40 MK rule, 60 back in business, 40 to spend. You know what, Tamara? Um, I, I need, there's so many things that Mary Kay taught us that, um, I really need to go back and look at and study again. Um, because it's good stuff. Um, we must have a heart and a mind that is ready to, um, to be poured into you. Yes. You do have to have a heart. A mind. Timing is everything. I believe timing is everything. And so um, I also believe that, you know, you you don't move off of your emotions. You move off of, you know, um, where you believe you need to be. And, and I think it's also you have to part of preparation is knowing what you need, knowing where you're going so that when you get to somebody and somebody offers something. And yes, it sounds great, but it might not be what you need. And so if you don't know what, who you are and you don't know what you need, then you might invest in things that, that aren't necessarily necessary for you at that specific time. Right. Right thing. Wrong timing. It could even be the wrong thing at the wrong timing, because even though it's good, it's not for you. So with that being said, was this good for you? Type in. Yes. Let's continue those hearts going. Let's close out with hearts. Was this good for you? Was this good for you?
Yes, 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 yes. What are the principles of preparation we need to develop for this for ourselves? Oh, I like that. The principles of preparation. Yes, 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 yes. It's all good. Love it. Love it. God first, family second, career work, and business third. Yeah. Mary Kay was a good foundation for us, Tam. It really was. Uh, we talk about like scripts and all kinds of stuff. Like they teach you all of that kind of stuff. Um, and so I got to go back to that because there's some stuff. Yes. Awesome. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to pray and I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get my little baby son um, up for uh, most definitely. This was too juicy. Yes. Hashtag juicy. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So let me just do a reminder. Those of you who are in the Atlanta area, I'm going to be in Atlanta this Saturday. I'm so glad you guys got this and it was good for you. Um, I'm going to be in the Atlanta area this Saturday um, for my I Speak Life tour. That's my first stop. I'm super excited. Um, is the ultimate profession for preparation. You're right, Dr. T. Um, if you want to learn, teach. Right. If you don't have an understanding of something, um, teach it. And you will and listen. And not only will you learn it, but you will apply it and you will live it. Um, juicy fruit. Yes. So I'll be in Atlanta this week. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there who is going to be there. I know that, you know, um, God has assigned some women for, for me and my power panel to pour into. I'm going to be joined by Joyce Gilmer, Tanisha Mackin and Regina Sunshine, um, who are my power panel. And we are going to be bringing a power packed transformational session. And so if you guys enjoy what I do, um, every morning, um, just think about what it's like being with me live, ah, right? Um, live and in color. And so I'm believing it is going to be awesome, Pastor Jay. And so those of you who are not in the Atlanta area, but in the Baltimore area, I'm hitting up Baltimore um, July 23rd. I'm still confirming the location, but you can go on the website and register. Early registration is now open. Um, it's $77 for early registration. And um, I'm literally, I'm teaching for two and a half hours. Like it's not this workshop where I'm just going to give it a little keynote. I'm teaching for, it says, I was so glad I was here for love it. Keep pouring out because I'm sipping. Awesome. I love it. Um, this is my first scope. Oh, I'm so thankful. Make sure you all follow me. Um, make sure you share and invite. Make sure you go to trueheartspeaks.com. Join my VIP list so that you can get all of the juiciness. As I always say, if Facebook goes away and Periscope goes away, I still want to be able to connect with you. So make sure um, that you, let's see, five, master's degree and five years later, lie, laid off of it, horrible, uh, waiting on God, eight job applications with zero. So um, we're going to pray for you. Um, Believing that God is going to open some doors for you. Believing that there's some things that are getting ready to shift for you. So let me just pray right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just thank you, O oh God, and we praise you. We magnify you. We lift your name up, O oh God, for there is none like you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for all of the I Speak Life and True Heart Speaks family, O oh God, that's joining on the uh, Morning Life Scope today, God. We thank you, O oh God, for an opportunity, O oh God, just to be here today. We are we are thankful, O oh God. We are thankful. We are grateful, O oh God. And we give you honor, glory, and praise, O oh God. We thank you for waking us up this morning, starting us on our way, because this is a day that you and Mary will rejoice and be glad. We thank you, oh God, for just covering us as we slept, oh God. We thank you that we woke up today because somebody didn't. We thank you, oh God, that we have life in our body, life, breath in our lungs, oh God, that we can see, that we can hear, that we can touch in the name of Jesus, oh God. We thankful, we're thankful, oh God, for what we do have in spite of what we don't have, oh God. We're thankful, oh God, that we are making ready before, oh God, so that when the time comes that we'll be ready for. We're not making ready afterwards and we're not making ready during, oh God. We want to be ready, oh God, as we get ready to launch these next six months of our lives of 2016 oh god we want to be ready for every opportunity that comes oh god we want to be mentally ready emotionally ready physically ready psychologically ready we want to be financially ready we want to be ready with our relationships we want to be re ready in every facet of our lives and so god we just thank you for this theme for this month of preparation because we are getting ready lord and i just ask right now in the name of jesus oh god for my brother or sister i couldn't tell if it was a he or she who is um 58 master's degree five years later uh laid off putting out jobs and um, just doesn't really know what to do. And so, Lord, we know that there that you work all things according that all things work together for your good, according to our good, according to <coughs> um, him that worketh in according to the power that worketh in us and those who love you and are called according to the purpose uh, to your purpose. And so, Lord, we just thank and praise you, oh God, that you are called according that she is called according to your purpose. We thank you, oh God, that things are working together for her good. We thank you, oh God, that even in the midst of oh God of denial, um, that there is no delay. Oh God, in the midst of God, that there um 
that there is delay, but not denial that there is in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that you will oh God would touch her, that you will oh God would open doors. Oh God, that if the doors have closed, that you will close doors that no man can open, but open doors that no man can close. And so father, I ask that she would get quiet. Oh God, I declare, Oh God, that she would get quiet, quiet to hear from you and to seek direction that maybe she's, you need to cut some things from her. Oh God, maybe she, you are isolating her for a reason. I know what it's like to be laid off. I know what it's like for them to tell you that today is your last day. We're going to give you a, pen, uh, a pension, a severance pay. And today's your last day. You can pick your stuff up at the end of the week, but your email is being cut off today. I know what that's like. I know what that feeling is like. I know what it's like with two master's degrees and to be out there wondering, God, what in the world are you doing? God, what in the world am I doing in the name of Jesus? And so, Lord, I just thank you. I praise you. I magnify you. And so, Lord, I just ask that you would touch her right now. Give her peace that surpasses all understanding in her heart and her mind. God, anybody else who is going through something right now in the name of Jesus and it doesn't make sense. You're not understanding why things are happening the way they're happening. Maybe you are in a season of preparation, my God, in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are in a season of being make, made ready to make ready before. Maybe you are being made ready before. Maybe there are some things that you set up for come up. Maybe there are some things, God, that you are setting her up for. Maybe some things that you are pulling away from her. Maybe there are some things, God, that you need to cut away, that you need to, that she needs to stop doing. Whatever the case, God, help her, oh God, not to lose faith, oh God. Help her, oh God, to trust you, oh God. Help her, oh God, to know that all things work together for the good of them who love God and are called according to their purpose. Help them to know, oh God, that you order our steps, oh God, and you direct our path, oh God. Help us to know, oh God, that there is nothing that happens that you are not aware of, oh God. And even though, oh God, it may be, God, it may not be God sent, it can be God used. And so maybe you didn't send it, but you allowed it, oh God. Maybe you allowed it to happen, oh God, because sometimes things happen not to break us, but to break things off of us. In the name of Jesus. And so God, I just thank you and I praise you. I magnify you. Go through the thing. Don't stop in the middle. Day and day, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the death, I will fear no evil for God is with me. He's his rod and his staff. They comfort me. So I want you to stay encouraged. God, we just thank you. We praise you. Yes, recreate her in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We magnify you. We lift your name up. Oh God, we thank you for what you're going to do today. We thank you for what you're going to do tomorrow. But more importantly, oh God, we, we do what we need to do today and we let tomorrow take care of itself. Oh God, she will. Yes, cousin, come out. It's pure gold. Let her go through the fire. Let her, oh God, let her be refined in the name of Jesus. We just thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. We lift your name up because there is none like you. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't quit in the name of Jesus. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know what it's like to feel like things are not working out the way you thought it was going to work out. I know what it feels like to feel like, okay, maybe I just need to pause for a minute. Maybe I need to pull back and recalibrate. Good morning, love. Maybe I need to Maybe I need to just, maybe I just need to just squash everything. Let me just tell you right now, do not stop. Do not quit. You are being created. You are being refined. You are being reframed. You are being reconditioned in the name of Jesus. I see it, Pooh. In the name of Jesus, you are being remade. Do not quit. Keep going. God wants to know if you will stay in the midst of the hell and the high water. It's not going to always be easy in the name of Jesus, but don't quit. In the name of Jesus, do not quit. We thought it was going to be easy. We thought it was going to be smooth sailing, but God says don't quit. He says you are being made. You are being conditioned. You are being prepared in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We magnify you. We lift your name up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Press on. Don't give up in the name of Jesus. Hold fast to God's unchanging hand in the name of Jesus. Do not give up. Hallelujah. Let some things go. Stop doing some things, but do not quit. There is a difference in the name of Jesus. I believe in you. God believes in you. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We magnify you, God. We lift your name up, God. There is none like you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, oh God, that our names are being mentioned in unusual places and that unimaginable doors are opening up for us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, that your favor goes before us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that we are called by you, God. God, that you, oh God, chose us. We didn't choose you. You chose us in the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that we are worthy, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that we are enough, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that we are more than conquerors through you who love us. We thank you that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that we walk by faith and not by sight. We thank you, oh God, that we don't walk by what we see, but we walk by what we spiritually see. We walk by what we believe through our faith, oh God, in the name of Jesus. It didn't go as I thought, but in the name of Jesus, I'm 
still going forward. In the name of Jesus, I'm still committed to the assignment. In the name of Jesus, God, I just thank you and I praise you and I magnify you. For you're worthy, God. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. You're worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. We are being made ready before in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, in the precious name of Jesus. Precious name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be lifted up. You be encouraged, Round Island. You be encouraged, y'all. Let's give her some hearts and encourage her. Give her some hearts and encourage her. We are loving on you right now. In the name of Jesus, you all have an awesome day, a day of uh, excellence and acceleration. Yes, Tay, I believe it. Yes, Jillian. Amen. 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 We are loving on her right now in the name of Jesus. We're loving on her right now in the name of Jesus. Loving on her right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we're sending your love right now in the name of Jesus. That you be encouraged. That you get quiet. You fast if you have to. You hear from God. But don't you get discouraged. Don't you get discouraged. Don't you quit. Don't you throw in the towel that it may not necessarily be what you need it to what that you thought. Sometimes our thoughts are not our, not even sometimes all the time. Our thoughts are not God's thoughts. Our ways are not God's ways in the name of Jesus. You all are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. We say to God be the glory for the things he is doing, will do and has already done in the name of Jesus. Love on her, love on her, love on her, love on her in the name of Jesus. Trust God with your whole heart. Yes, yes, yes. We thank you, God. We praise you. We magnify you. There is none like you. God's plan is better than our understanding. Absolutely. Trust him. Trust him. And more importantly, I want you to do the assignment. Those of you who have not done this assignment, answer the question. What do I need to cut off as part of my preparation for where God has taken me? And what do I need to stop doing in order to be prepared and ready for that opportunity? God is faithful. Lean not to thy own understanding. Yes, trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways and he will direct thy path in the name of Jesus amen 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 you guys have an awesome day I love you I will see you all tomorrow with the continuation of this conversation um, but understand that we are being made ready before hallelujah I love y'all hallelujah 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 oh I speak life life.com I'm just starting my spiritual walk so I'm glad you're here I speak life live.com go to trueheartspeaks.com sign up for my VIP list I don't want to lose you make sure you follow me on Periscope um, so that you can get notifications when I'm in um, I'm going to Atlanta Baltimore the New York City New Jersey area so if you're at Connecticut Jersey PA uh, Philly any of those areas you want to be at the New York New Jersey all locations are being confirmed but the dates are um, are up you can register ahead of time I'm gonna be in Rochester in September New York New Jersey in August and Baltimore in July I need you all there just come come put your money aside early registration is open for all of them so just come come get them up get your coins ready and just register because it's going to be off the chain. Our theme is launch to live. We are launching out to live, right? We are launching, meaning there is movement. There are some things that we have to do in order to be in the place that God wants us to be. And not only in launching to live, but not, we're, 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 we're positioning ourselves to not only work well, but live well. Many of us do work very well. We're good. We're a beast at what we do, but we don't under, have an understanding and we're not good at who we be. And so we're not human doings, we're human beings. And so we have to learn the, the process of being, right? The process of living well, right? Having a life lived well, not worked well, but lived well. So you have an awesome day. I love you guys. Um, if you want to work with me, go to my website. Let's work together. Hit the tab, True Heart Speaks. Book your coaching sessions. I have a 45-minute pick, pick my brain session. And then I also have a strategy session. Then I also have a 30-day session, which is 90 minutes plus four follow-up sessions. If you need something longer than that, I offer those. They're just not on my website. Um, and then I also have um, e-courses. I have two e-courses, my Quiet Time e-course and my Time Hacks for Busy Women. I am crea in the creating process right now because I want to be able to meet the need of the people who God has called me to. And so I love you guys. Have an awesome day, a magnanimous day, a terrific Tuesday right and I will see you guys tomorrow the process of being absolutely um, I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 7 15 a.m. same time same place for the morning life scope bye bye